What's good YouTube, I'm Zero Zeus and welcome back to another Baruto video. This is going to be my Baruto manga chapter 49 review. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. Thank you for watching and let's get right into the video because this is definitely hype. I know everybody was waiting for this chapter on pins and needles. It's like, I was definitely waiting for it. I, um, <clears throat> I'm just like... I had my days mixed up, and I'm thinking, like, yeah, it's coming out on Tuesday, and I was definitely still in work then, so I'm like, man, and it's like, I'm still late on it. I could have did it yesterday, but I just, like, you know, I just got off, off of work yesterday, and my job is kind of like, um, my job is kind of like beat your ass up type of stuff, so, it, like, I, I, I had to deal, you know, with a little recuperation, but I'm in, in it today, so, um, here we go, and just, like, deal with me a little bit, because, um, yeah man life sucks right now so i got like really high and i'm like yeah i'm gonna do this video so here we go um this chapter starts off really savage um uh i actually watched a couple of reviews before i made mine so i usually don't do that but it's just really funny the way that people refer to like ishiki being up in the sky or like when i first seen the boy and um his father they were walking through town and you could just see ishiki just appearing above them and stuff like that and they just look up and it's like almost like you know it's a bird it's a plane or something like that or like you know how it'd be like when you see like godzilla movies and stuff and they like notice and they just look up and start pointing and stuff like that and it'd be like a, a couple of people and it's like a whole row of people and nobody else notices but them and it's just like that's what that reminded me of i thought that was so crazy and another thing that i thought was so crazy it just like the politeness of ishiki like i think that's so savage i just think that's so savage like I know that some of us may feel like it's unneeded and stuff like that, but you know, it just kind of did it for me when I just seen it. I was just like, well, hey, that's like kind of cool. Um, he just walked up and casually asked him where Kawaki was or where somebody was that needed Kawaki. It was like really funny because like he just asked them politely. And then afterwards, he was like, oh, well, it just seemed like he was going to go about his business, right? And that is definitely not what happened. He actually was like, well, you can just point me in the way of whoever knows. <laughs> and it just it's it just so funny. Like they thought they were out of the trap, but you were definitely not out of the fire yet. And so basically he points him off. And so the, the thing I want to talk about is like right now, I know some people that's watching this, you might not watch the anime, but I just feel like, you know, it's so Baruto centric. And I feel like in this manga chapter right here was really Baruto centric, too baruto and momoshiki it's just like both of those and just like i i love i love that that's like really cool like um you actually see this moment where sasuke and baruto they're actually talking about the boro the boro fight and Sasuke's like man i i know what's going on i know what happened i, I heard about what happened and stuff like that and baruto kind of just comes out and explains like yeah he kind of gets the grass like he grips a little bit of what's gonna happen to him what he thinks might happen to him and he starts to talk about the fear and stuff like that but then you he just has this one little heroic moment where he's just like you know he he grips his chest and well the shirt on his chest and he's just like yeah i'm even more afraid for the people the people of the leaf of what i might do to them and i just thought that was like really nice that's really cool um that was really savage to me. So, yeah, Baruto, you definitely caught a W on that one. And, you know, Sasuke is just like, you know, I'll kill you if I have to. You know, him just being the savage that he is, he didn't sugarcoat it in any type of way. He's just like, yeah, if you ever get to the point where you're uncontrollable, there's nothing we can do about you and you might kill innocent people. It might get to that point. It might be like that. I, I will get rid of you because your father, he's probably not going to be able to do it. And you know Naruto being the person that he is, he's definitely not going to do that. So, yeah. And you have this moment where, you know, Naruto is already hip to what's going on. He already knows that Ishiki is in a village and he's basically searching for him, right? And, you know, he's like running through the village and, you know, just doing all this extra stuff. And you just keep seeing on, um, at first I was still looking at a panel and I think it was like tag. Tack, 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 tack. And I'm just being dumb. And I'm like, what? What? Oh, 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 stupid me. <laughs> the footsteps. <laughs> I'm so slow, right? And um, 
he's just running and he looks up and he notices like jigging and at the same time he notices jigging jigging notices him and it's just like i guess jigging i'm not i wasn't really paying any attention but it just like kind of slipped my mind that jigging didn't know that naruto was still alive and so well he wasn't still that he was unsealed he didn't know that and I thought he knew that Boro died already, but I guess that's still so fresh and stuff like that, even though it seems like it's been forever for us because it has been. But yeah, and so he is just putting the pressure on like um, he's looking for Kawaki. He's definitely going to shake him down for it. And you just see him talking to him like politely and stuff like that. Just wondering, like, you know, how he got out boro failed stuff like that he was defeated by like Boruto and kawaki and you know stuff like that sorry that means he like it was really cool so um naruto being like i'm trying to think of right back to the exact moment what triggered him to jump off okay this is the uh, thing like jigging he starts to destroy stuff in the leaf and you know, you know he was gonna do that. Being it like all polite and stuff, that 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 means nothing. He was on that whole Batai beat. That's what he came there for. And he was basically gonna force him in submission to giving Kawaki up. And you know, Naruto basically jumps into action, definitely, you know, whole cloak and everything, you know. <clears throat> and it was just like really cool because it's just like Yeah, now we get to see Naruto get it in against a massive massive energy right and you have what's really cool because i'm just making it so long and i skipped a couple of things so forgive me but just i'm just trying to go through the things that i really feel like are really juicy right and you know while he's having this fight with him he's basically having a super hard time you know if she dismantles him right and so in the moment batman batman that's that's all you could say about sasuke and he just shows up out of nowhere and he starts attacking him and he basically tells him to start throwing shurikens and stuff like that and to cover him right and you know sasuke he starts doing the same thing he starts throwing shurikens and you know stuff like that and then you know at the end of the stream of shurikens because it just seemed like it was going nowhere he throws the sword right and you know ashiki being the person that he is he just shrunk him and you know but he tried to shrink the sword and it didn't work and is because it was a real person it was baruto and i just thought that was so cool because right before like i said i was watching videos before i actually made my video uh, about I'm, i was watching reviews about it and i, I was watching naruto explain and i just wanted i knew he was gonna get it i knew he was gonna get it but i was just like that reminds me of you know naruto and sasuke you know that time when you know naruto was the um if i'm not mistaken if i don't have it, if i don't have this mixed up please forgive me if i do but he was the um the demon blade i think the demon shuriken one of those he was he was that and they just like I, I knew that i seen it and i'm just like oh that's cool that's cool that was really cool um bruto comes out of nowhere he uses his karma like power whatever was going on like kind of like how jiggin like teleported into the leaf that time i think and he basically teleports a shiki away and so now basically naruto and you know, Sasuke can get they savage on, right? And that's basically where the chapter ends right there. But it's just, like, really cool, like I said, to see them have so much, basically give Boruto so invo so much involvement. And, you know, he risked his life to kind of get them there. And, you know, Sasuke was basically pointing out to Naruto, even though Naruto was definitely not with that. He did not want Boruto to have any parts in that. And he just, like, kind of, you know, the fatherly side of him came out and, you know, he was really getting on his back about it, but it was, like, kind of expected. You know, you can't really expect any parent to just be like, oh, you know, that was cool. But, um, you know, Sasuke's like, no. He he basically resolved himself to do this, and, you know, he made the choice. He made the decision to do this, and I just thought that was really cool. But anyway, I'm going to end it right there because I'm kind of making my video, like, long and forever, and I got to do another one right after this. So, yeah, be, just be look on out, look out for that, and, um, yeah. I'm gonna end it right here. This has been my Baruto episode. Uh, this has been my Baruto <laughs> manga chapter 49 review. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment. Thank you for watching, and I will see you.